Auschwitz-Birkenau is located in the south of Poland, in the upper part of Silencia. The town is quite isolated and approximately 65 kilometers from the nearest city of Krakow. The largest railway hub in Europe was once located here. It was ideally situated for the mass transportation of people to what was to become the largest killing centre ever known. During World War II, most of the occupied countries in Europe deported Jews. But not only Jews were sent to Auschwitz-Birkenau. Prisoners of war, political prisoners, air social prisoners which included gypsies, prostitutes, Jehovah's Witnesses and homosexuals were sent here to their death. Everyone within the Nazi party knew how much Adolf Hitler hated the Jews. His speech in the Reichstag of 1939 predicted the extermination of the European Jews if they caused the world war. Hitler tasked SS Reichsführer Heinrich Himmler to oversee the final solution to the Jewish question. It was a task that Himmler aggressively pursued. The prisoners' quarters are well preserved, having been left undisturbed under communist rule for more than 50 years. The brick barracks house the women prisoners and are situated to the right of the uploading ramp. Built directly onto swampy ground, most of the huts had no solid floor apart from the compressed earth which was often turned into a veritable quagmire. Sleeping on three tier berths covered only with rotting straw, one berth would sleep an average of eight people and up to 1,000 people would be housed in each hut. Other buildings used by the prisoners were very basic. There were over 400 buildings at this camp, 300 of which are now ruins and only the hearth and chimneys survive. But there are 98 buildings which are still intact. Film footage taken in 2007 shows how little the camp has changed. This photograph taken by the SS in 1944 shows the selection process of thousands of Hungarian Jews. Those regarded as being fit for labour were placed in the camp. Those selected for immediate gassing would walk down this road which led directly into the undressing rooms and gas chambers of crematoria 4 and 5. Within two hours of arrival, It is the world's largest Jewish graveyard, a place where the ashes of over one and a half million innocent victims were scattered over the fields, thrown into the rivers, or dumped into several small ponds which can be found around the camp.
Crematoria 2. Today, in the ruins of Crematoria 2, it is still possible to discern the undressing room. The gas chamber is underground to the left, and in the distance on the surface 